Good evening everybody, Pastor Drew from the Lighthouse Church. It's been a few days since I've posted, uh, just trying to kind of put uh, some thoughts together. Um, but today something had really struck me whilst watching um, something today. Now, strangely enough, I'm not a big fan of Southern Bluegrass Gospel by any way, shape of the imagination. But I heard this song today by um, Jason Crabb and it's called Walk on Water. And I just want to uh, tell you some of the lyrics uh, first before I share with you. And it says, everybody covets, everybody lies, everybody's done, it's something in their lives. And we all uh, and we all slip when we don't mean to, that don't mean you can't make it right. And then the chorus goes like this, it's the path you take, it's the steps you make that make you who you are. It's the life you live, the gifts you give, the love that's in your heart. Just try to do the best you can to be a better man. You don't have to walk on water, it's how you walk on land. That really stuck me. And at first I was going to say that's an absolute preach title there. It's not about walking on water, it's about how you walk on land. And it's really striking me at this moment as we're going through things. It's about like, it's not um, what... Uh, what we what we think we should be doing, and, and maybe what we think others should be doing. It's about our walk here, currently on this earth as we're doing it. Not whether we're trying to be we're trying to do miracles, and whether we're trying to do things that um, aren't within our calling or what. It's really about actually being the best witness that we can be to people during this crisis, and in fact, any time is um to actually it's a how we walk here on land and then it really it really then i got thinking about what bible scriptures are relevant to this and there's a scripture in micah micah 6 8 but i'm going to read to you um from uh where is it here so i'm throwing you around there uh it's 6 6 so what does the lord require with what shall i come before the lord and bear myself before god on high Shall I come before him with burnt offerings and calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with tens of thousands of rivers of oil? Or shall I give my firstborn for my transgression or the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? Then it's 6 verse 8. It says, he has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice and to love kindness, kindness and to walk humbly with your God. So what does the Lord require? He requires us to do justice, to love kindness and walk humbly with our God. Now, in this time, there's so many things that we, we could be doing, we should be doing, we want to be doing, we might not be doing. But if we just stick to those things, we, we, we're being just in everything we do, that actually we're loving to be kind to people. Do you know, the biggest witness, I think, is actually being kind to people. But most importantly, is that we're actually we're walking humbly. We're humbly coming beneath our God and saying, God, I cannot do this without you i cannot do anything that's of any value without you as i said um, in the sermon at the weekend apart from me you can do nothing that was jesus apart from me you can do nothing so with jesus we can do everything with god we can do everything but we just need to be really humble about what we do we need to love the kindness and we need to do justice so thank you for your time today i hope you're all doing well um, and you're keeping your hands clean and washed um, and, and just being safe and respecting social distancing and, and all of those things so we'll speak to you soon uh, look forward to hearing and speaking to you all soon god bless